Hey there and welcome to my channel. If you are just joining us, uh, I do lots of home projects and fixes around the house. Uh, car is not excluded, certainly, and also a lot of home product reviews. The idea is to try to save y'all time and money out there and make your place a better space to be. So this video starts now, and if you are interested in more videos, of course, be sure to subscribe. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a minivan sliding door. We recently took a road trip on down, down quite a few dusty roads, and we noticed once we got back our door was not operating as smoothly as it once did. It lost some lubrication, so it's a little grindy, a little dry, makes a little noise, doesn't seem very smooth. So hopefully this video can help you out. So we're gonna, uh, uh, if your door does have power, uh, power door, a power, power door button. You're going to want to press that and disengage it first of all, because we can see right here we've got a wheel. Now your make and model. This is a Toyota Sienna, but your make and model might be a little different. So you're going to want to study and try to find. Okay, where are those points of contact? The wheels that turn when you slide it, and having that power mechanism turned off will allow you to manually maneuver the door about halfway closed or so if you need to. So you can kind of get down there and not get squished by the door closing automatically. So you can see on this particular minivan, we have three wheel contact points, one at the very top, one in the middle, and one right here down below as you just saw. And so what we're going to be doing, we're going to be applying some grease. I'll put a link in the description below for the stuff that I like to use. But however, you're going to want to call your uh, make and model, your dealer, and just say, hey, what kind of you know lube, what kind of grease should I be applying to these wheels? Of course, you could have them do this yourself next time you're in the shop. But if you just can't wait, kind of like me, drives you nuts and you got to get it fixed, this is what we're going to be doing. The wheels might be a little hard to reach, so we're gonna just going to be applying some grease quite liberally to the end of a screwdriver. Now, be careful. You don't want to use like WD-40 or anything that might provide temporary lubrication, but actually uh, end up backfiring and causing more dirt and debris to collect because that's also um, what can happen to this over time, right? It does collect some dirt and debris and kind of degrades the operability of that lubricant. So this is kind of what we're going to be doing. We're going to be applying some grease to the end of a screwdriver and just um, liberally applying it to that wheel. Of course, if you can use a gloved finger, that would be totally fine too. And you're going to want to move the door then back and forth manually to get that grease lubricated around the entire wheel. Now going around the back here is a better entry point for this particular mid middle level wheel. So again, there's one up top in the middle and below. So this one's the middle wheel. You can see it right there. And I've got some grease there applied. I'm going to go back and just smother the heck out of it. And once that is good to, and greased up, we're going to turn those power doors back on. And I'm going to do this for both doors. We've got um, automatic doors on each side of the van. And that is it. It is working and sliding, gliding beautifully once again. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you. Of course, for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Thanks.